going on guys? Have a good night. Back with another video and today go ahead and discuss five game features that were removed from Clash Royale. We've had many awesome features and some were even pretty helpful, but sometimes as a developer you have to weigh in the things that are helpful and the ones that are actually necessary. Now before we get into the video, if you do want to go ahead and enter my gift card giveaway, all you have to do is like and comment and that's pretty much it. Oh and also one more thing, this list won't include cool glitches or bugs. Or else the title will be something like top 7,923,421 glitches that were removed from Clash Royale. So with that further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. Number 1. Huge Tournaments Long gone are the days when you were able to create a tournament that cost 250,000 gems and gave the first player 15,000 cards. Holy shit, man. I have so many questions, but the fact that this was a thing blows my mind. For those of you who don't want to do the math, that's roughly about 1,700 US dollars. Unless you're someone who wipes their ass with money or you're Bill Gates, I don't think he created one. Not even YouTubers could afford it. Everyone got it sponsored by someone like Cash for Apps or Free My Apps. And uh, me, I, I didn't get sponsored. I just... Nobody likes me. That wasn't the only thing they removed though. There was tons of options and glitches and even the layout that they changed. And one of the worst being that every time you created a tournament, your city and state would show up automatically. Anyways, back to the huge tournament. Even though it was expensive and a bit crazy on the card side, I still think people would create these tournaments and it would be lots of fun. Number 2. The Cost to Battle If you were playing before the game globally released, you probably remember having to pay for every battle you started. Well, I mean, it was only a few pieces of gold, but if you were trophy pushing, it can get expensive fairly quickly. But that's not all because you also had to pay for friendly battles. Man. I'm not gonna lie though, it was a pain when I didn't have gold to attack. It's something you luckily never have to worry about nowadays. The bright side here was that every chest had more gold, but when they removed the cost to battle, they lower the amount of gold you get from any chest, which is kind of unfortunate, but hey, would you rather pay for every battle or get a little less gold? Now you're probably wondering why we had to pay in the first place and why was it even removed? In Clash of Clans, we pay for every time we search and click the skip button and Supercell thought it was okay to also have that in Clash Royale, but the community did not like it. And the reason why they didn't like it is because there was no point of it. You don't have to wait for any army to train or something like that. So Supercell ended up removing it and I'm glad they did remove it and I'm pretty sure a lot of you would thank Supercell for this if they did that just yesterday. Number 3. Landscape Mode I remember being able to play replays in landscape mode and even made my videos like that. But one day it just disappeared. The worst part here is that it was so cool. But it just went poof one day into another dimension. Anyways, why exactly was it removed? Well, as a developer, you always have to draw the line between extra features and too much bloat. Too much bloat makes your app harder to manage and also takes up more space. The fact that not so many people weren't actually using it convinced Supercell that it wasn't really needed after all. And in one update, it got removed. In my own opinion, I'll have to agree with Supercell. Even though I personally use the landscape mode feature, there was nothing stopping me from recording even after it, so it didn't really affect me or anyone in any way. Plus, half the community didn't even know that option was there. A lot of people were so surprised when I said, oh hey, there's landscape mode. It was cool while it lasted and we will always remember the fun days where we could watch a replay in landscape mode. Number 4. Being able to buy silver and a gold chest. Back in the day, if you bought a silver or a gold chest from the store, you were considered cool. And if you brought a magical chest, people thought you were rich. The gold was 85 gems and the silver was 30 gems for Arena 3. There was no such thing as giant, super magical, legendary, or epic chest. I guess times really do change. It wasn't until February 29th though where they replaced the silver and gold chest in the shop with better chest. And that was the last time we were able to actually purchase one. Now I know what you're thinking, why not just go battle and gem a silver chest? And yes, that is usually what we do when we need to buy a silver chest, but in the old days, Clash Royale was so different. Legendaries did not exist, there was no Arena 10, 9, or 8, no tournaments, and no clan chest. Anyways, back to these inexpensive chests. It's pretty funny to think that anyone would actually buy one of these because these chests begin to lose their cool after a certain level. Some people even wish that they can remove their silver chest from the queue because it's a waste of time. And even though I still love the silver chest, it sure isn't a chest that would be in the shop anymore. And finally, on to number 5, color text. I recently mentioned this on my glitch video, but I decided to include it here because 
it wasn't a glitch or bug after all. You see, Supercell left the HTML option enabled and this allowed players to use it. Simple stuff here. You could put a series of symbols and it would enable the color according to what you typed in. It was first a chat thing, but it wasn't long until players used it with their names. Now comes the part where we talk about the time that it got removed. Supercell threw out a letter advising people not to change their names with color, but people did the exact opposite. We used it to change our names with color. And shortly after that, they were forced to disable it and give everyone another name change. It was fun while it lasted, and even though it wasn't a feature we really was intended to use, it wasn't a glitch or bug either. Sadly though, we would never get to see color names unless they add it again, but that's very unlikely. After all though, we will still have Clash Real even if they remove whatever it takes. Supercell works very hard to add as much as they can, but that doesn't mean everything or else things get crowded. Anyways, I want to thank you guys so much for sticking around. If you guys did enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave a like as it helps us out a ton in many ways. So yeah. So with that being said, peace out YouTube. See you on the next one. Peace.